Hey guys, what's up? It's the Chinchilla Notebook here, and today's video is going to be on great chinchilla websites and brands. I was thinking about doing this video a while ago, but I never actually did it until somebody requested it, so I thought it would be a good idea to do it. Also, this is a uh, voiceover, so sorry. If it's a little confusing for you guys, I'm not that good at voiceovers, but I have figured out how to put links in the description box. That's one thing I did figure out, and I'm kind of happy that I did. Anyway, so this is footage I took a while ago of Merlin, and I'm just putting it into this video. So I'm going to be doing this on the computer, and I hope it's not too hard for you guys to see. I just want to give you guys a good idea of these websites. I did used to go on these every single day almost a while ago, but lately over the past few months I've been really busy, so I haven't really been going on them. But I know you guys will be tempted to buy your chinchilla stuff from it once you see it, because these are pretty amazing. So yeah, enough with the intro, let's just get right into the video. So for the first site we have AZ Chins and this is a ch online chinchilla website that is takes place in actually Arizona, Sahurita, I can't pronounce that. But basically I love this so much. They have such good prices and they're really the lady is really nice to work with and as you can see they have available baby chinchillas that you can actually adopt if you live in that area and then they have adult chinchillas which is really cool. Usually they don't really have adoption centers. They also have rescues, resources, indexes. They, they have it all, and it's really nice because you can access it all on their uh, website. They also... So I'm just going to click on their chin store, as you can see. They have their phone number there, and they also have basic essentials, toys, accessories, cages, shipping, product lists, everything over here. And... This is the whole thing, and I'm just going to show you toys first. They have a ton of toys. So as you can see, they have bamboo finger shredders, and they have, uh, the count is right over there, and they have really good prices. They have pumice stones, natural vine balls, uh, tons of different kinds of stuff. I actually did get this banana leaf ball when I ordered from them. One for $1.15, and that was a really good price. So I definitely recommend that. And they have a ton more. They have loofah, which my chinchilla loves loofah. And they have wood, different kind of chinny bug toys, a kind of re very um, creative toys like apples. Like these are really cool that they create so that you could use these toys to just flavor up and spice up your cage to whatever theme you're trying to get. And they also have wood, natural wood like this, which is really nice. So this is all the toys that they have. And then up here, for basic essentials, you'll find some chinchilla food. They have this really good Missouri Timothy diet. And then they also have hay, hay cubes, and rose hips. Rose hips are probably... <coughs> excuse me. So rose hips are probably my chinchilla's favorite. I mean, sorry, I've never tried rose hips. I don't know what I'm saying. But I really do want to try them. And then they also have these uh, different kinds of treats. Sorry about the rose hips. I totally meant I wanted to try them. Um, they also have vitamins and supplements, which is really cool for a chinchilla. They have probiotics, and they have pine shaving, bedding, and then blue cloud dust, which I actually got this 10, 10 pounds for $10. It was such a good deal. I cannot even express to you what a good deal it was. And then, of course, they have some cages. If you're interested in that, they have that option. And then they have accessories, ceramic, uh, dishes, pine ledges, I don't know, just tons of different kinds of things that you can see. It's really fun to look at these websites because you can kind of find a lot. So that is it for AZ Chins, and now we're going to check out the next uh, website, which is called TJ's Chinchilla Supplies, and I love this. This is another one of my favorites because they have so many options. So this is how it looks when you first get there. It's not that uh, fancy or colorful, but it is a very good website. Don't be fooled. So basically, they just, they have, I just love this place. I, there's not enough I can say that's good about it. They have uh, chinchilla names, herb information, information about other things, veterinarians. It's just really good. I love this because it gives you more information on it. So let's check out the Chinny store. So for this, we've got a whole list of a ton of items that you guys can just check and out. And again, like I said, this is kind of fun to look through because it's just so much. And so we're going to start with down here, what is the food, hay, and accessories. So we got some food types. We have chinchilla supplements, hay cubes, uh, mixes, all that kind of stuff that you can find. And the prices are really good. Just look at this, five pounds for 450 
um, for the Purina show. That's really, really good. And now we're just going to check out some accessories. They've got really cool coconut bowls, ceramic dishes. And the ceramic dishes, there's a lot of different patterns. So like I said, if you want to design your cage a certain way, this is really good. The coop cup is a good price, 10 ounces at $4.75. So it's also got some water bottles down here. Um, it's like a pet store, basically. And then for woods, you can buy natural wood on done it's just basically the natural stuff nothing's been done to it and now chinchilla toys this is my favorite section and they have so many options just look at these all types of wooden stuff and they're really cool how they made these and the prices are just outstanding again i love their prices you can just get so much better uh, quality and very safe materials used for your chinchillas than you can get at the pet store i just completely recommend this store to anybody and they have ledges and tunnels. Oh, I really like this section. They have ledges, which you can get in different sizes for different prices. And they even have poop guards, so it doesn't fly all over the place, which is really cool. They have chinchilla tunnels and wacky houses. I just love those, how they have different weird holes in them. They just give a creative twist. And then for the herb information, this is really cool because they can give you a ton of different herbs and what they're used for chinchillas. I love that they did this because... It's really useful and it's nice to have and to know. So that is it for TJ's Chinchilla Supplies. And next we are going to do Rhonda's Chinchillas, which is... it's This one is more of wood, if you're interested in buying wood. So this one is a nice store to go to, like I said, if you want to buy wood. They don't have a lot of toys or accessories here. But this does take, it, this is in Hermiston, Oregon, and we actually passed it one time on our way back from California, and I really wanted to check it out, but the store hours, we came by too early, so the store hadn't opened, but it's a really cool place, and it's super close to where I am. And so, as you can see, they have a ton of sticks and just a ton of different kinds of woods. They have wood coins and wood knobs, and you could choose the, uh, the thickness of them. It's really nice. And they also have hammocks here. A lot of them are flower designs, but you can choose them in different kinds. This is a hanging cube, and they're $16, not, not a very bad price. And then they have some blue cloud dust and rocks, too, a rock. So, yeah, this is another really good store. So the next one is an online website that I don't really go on that much, but it is really good. It is called Chinchilla City, and you can just type these in, and you'll find it right away. So, Chinchilla City, it, it reminds me of Petco, the online Petco for some reason, but it is a very good place because they have a ton of stuff on here. So, this is how it looks right when you open into it. It's super cute and colorful and just gives you that good vibe or whatever. And so, as you can see here, they have quite a few um, things on display, and then you get these choice in the categories. There's herbs, loofah, fleece items, toys, accessories, hay, food, and treats, and even magnets, which is really cool. And then this is what they show you on the front here. So, we're going to go up here into the list, and I'm going to choose fleece items, I guess. First. And they have a lot of cool things. They have fleece tubes, fleece corner hammocks. So the tubes are not a bad price. Depending on the fleece pattern, you can get them as cheap as $22, which is pretty good considering they come with the fleece tube and the cover. And then they also have some really cool hammocks too. Those are all really good quality. I've heard really good things about them. And then you could buy toy parts and toss toys and hanging toys. And they're, I've heard they've been made really well. I've watched reviews and read a lot of reviews on these. So I've heard all really good things about these. That they make the toys really safe and good quality. And also, again, really creative and big. And they're pretty good prices. So they also have some hay here. I mean, some food here. Um, they have the Purina Rabbit Chow and Missouri Chinchilla Diet, which are po both pretty good uh, chinchilla foods, pretty good quality. And then, this is really cool, they have magnets and stickers and gift ideas. They have, um, these, this just really excited me because not many places you can buy chinchilla items. So this is really cool. And the coffee mugs are so cute. Um, and then this sign here that says Chinchilla Zone, I just fell in love with it. I probably want to get it. It's actually a magnet, but it's really cute. It just says Chinchilla Zone, and it looks like that with an outline of a chinchilla. So that is it for that website. But the next one is going to be 
one of my favorites. I actually really, really like this last one. That's why I saved it for the last. But it is called Zoe and Lilo's Toy Box. <coughs> excuse me they have really made this website a lot cuter than it was in the beginning i remember how it was it was just kind of like your standard old website but it's super cute and zoe and lilo's toy box uh is basically the owner owns two chinchillas named zoe and lilo which is super cute and they have all these different things and these are the toys that they have i love their toys there's a um there's a YouTube channel called Small Sherwood Small Pets that buys a ton of toys from this person, this website, because she knows the person, and it's so nice. Like, those toys are so cute, and actually a really big price compared to what they look like. And so this, these are all the options, and as you can see, they're pretty creative and cool looking. And so, uh, as you can see, it shoe parts, they have shredders, woods and beads, and oxbow products, and samplers, fleece items, they have accessories... I love their fleece stuff, and they have cute little pictures of chinchillas, which is just adorable. But you can get cylinder house, bunk bed, hammocks, a ton of really cool, creative stuff I didn't even think about that a chinchilla, you know, people could make for chinchillas. But it just really makes your cage look a lot better. And they also have ledges and different kinds of huts that you can get hexagon, and then you can get kebabs and water bottles. And this really cool hay thing. So, I really like this place because they not only specialize in chinchillas, but they also do rabbits and guinea pigs and hamsters too. And they also have that really cute little dish there. So, yeah, that is it for this website. So, now we're going to get into good brands. And the first brand is All Living Things, which I buy their hay from. And then the next one is Nat National Geographics, which I get toys from. And then Oxbow, I actually buy Merlin's pellets, food pellets from this brand too. And then Missouri I've never tried, but it is a chinchilla pellet brand, and it is very good. I've heard for them. And then Sensation is also the hay that I buy for them. And as for all of these brands, I sometimes not everything in the current brand is good for chinchillas. For example, not all of All Living's things, like their food, is just not good for chinchillas or pellets, but their hay is. Their toys are good. And then for National Geographic's, their hay and pellets I would not recommend. Um, and for Oxbow, I've heard their toys are good, their, uh, their dust is good, the quality of their dust, blue cloud dust, and their pellets, so everything's good there. And Missouri, I don't, like I said, I don't know much about that brand. And Sensation, I would recommend their toys and their hay only, not their pellets. Um, and there's just specific reasons to those, but those are just some really good brands that are worth looking into chinchilla items. So that is it for this video, and I did hope you guys... I hope you guys, I can't talk today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, it might be a little bit guilt, like you guys are like, what, that's an editing mistake or something? Because I did do voiceover, which was extremely hard, by the way. And so sorry if this video is kind of all over the place, but I hope you got at least got some point from it. And check out those websites, because they're really good. Um, they're not just for chinchillas, they're for ra rabbits and guinea pigs and hamsters and uh, ferrets too. You could just find whatever from those, but those are specifically for chinchillas, and I'm just throwing those options out there because I know some of us think that chinchillas aren't very common, so there wouldn't be websites for them, but there actually surprisingly are a lot. So yeah, that is it for this week's video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys later. And Marilyn says goodbye.